Sometimes I like to think of uh, the work as having a sense of false utility. I, I, I like to create a, a piece of art that suggests some kind of purpose. Um, I can maybe imagine this thing rolling around on the uh, production floor of a, uh, of a manufacturing facility. Um, I like to, uh, I like to blend, uh, different materials. Um, the, the lower part of it was fabricated out of steel pipe in different sections. Obviously the top is, uh, you know, I've repurposed, uh, oxygen bottles. So I like to, um, uh, I like to blend the main, the, the made and the found. Oh, it means a lot. Uh, I've lived in Pennsylvania all my life, and um, I only just recently became aware of the show. And uh, seeing all the work by all the all the uh, all the other artists here, I, I just feel uh, it's a really great uh, cross section of different types of work and, and a lot of a lot of really quality stuff. So I'm happy to be a part of the show. My uh, one of my instructors in art school used to say that um, as a sculptor, it's our obligation to sift through all the myriad possible combinations of materials and shapes and forms and uh, try and find the best, uh, the best, you know, collection, you know, try and put things together. But because they're just they're just an infinity of choices. Of, uh, of possibilities of what you can make as a modern abstract artist. Um, if, I, if, if I'm doing a, a representation of a human figure, well, it's pretty clear what I have to do. I mean, I, I, I have to focus on, on the subject and, and represent it. But if I'm creating something new and uh, uh, something maybe that you haven't seen before, there are and then there are a million different variations of this very same sculpture that I could have made. But this is the one I settled on and, it, and I did it with intention and choice.